Obama suffers complete meltdown over what veterans gave Trump on live TV by Freedom Daily. For the past eight years, Obama made it no secret how much he hated our military. He hollowed out our military capabilities to pre-World War II capabilities while making it virtually impossible for our soldiers to protect themselves on the battlefield with the outrageous changes he made to our military rules of engagement, ROE, resulting in the deaths of dozens of our warriors. To add insult to injury, Obama constantly treated our service members like crap, refusing to do simple things like return salutes to Marines assigned to his detail, where he reduced our Marines to his personal umbrella, uh, holding servant boys. Obama also would go back on his campaign promise to fix the VA where hundreds of our veterans would go on to die waiting for medical treatment from their war injuries. With Trump in office, things have taken a drastic and wonderful turn for the better. President Trump's love and appreciation for our military is constantly constantly on full display with the genuinely nice way he treats any service member he comes in contact with. Whether it's uh, chasing down a Marine's hat that's blown off, taking time from his busy schedule to visit our wounded warriors, going to a fallen soldier's funeral, or firing 800 corrupt VA officials who worked during the Obama administration. Trump's sincere care and compassion for Americans truly knows no bounds. So not surprisingly, when President Trump had the opportunity to honor our veterans over Veterans Day, despite his busy 11-day Asia tour, he would drop everything to honor our Vietnam veterans with an incredible ceremony and a heartfelt speech. Trump took the stage to honor all the American veterans, where he was flanked by seven uh, elderly Vietnam veterans, but... One of the veterans did something completely unexpected after Trump's remarks that will probably have Hussein Obama completely furious. Standing with Vietnam veterans behind him, Trump said, Our veterans are a national treasure and I thank them all for their service, sacrifice, and patriotism. To each of you with me today, you are the heroes who fulfill your duty to our nation and each of you under the most difficult conditions did what you had to do and you did it well. Unlike Obama who made every event on planet earth about him, President Trump then turned the microphone over to the uh, seven Vietnam heroes behind them, giving them the opportunity to say whatever was on their minds. The third veteran to speak, who was wearing a Navy SEAL veteran hat, could only get a few words out before choking up and turning to Trump, saying, Mr. President, from my heart, thank you for your support of the military, and it's an honor to be here as one of seven Vietnam veterans representing the 58,000 heroes that never made it home. Yes, so true. Thank you so much, the veteran said immediately overcome with his appreciation and emotion for a commander-in-chief who genuinely cares unlike our previous president the veteran then hugged trump and began weeping the touching moment begins around 355 let's fast forward here let's just take a quick look we need to win we need to make america great again and we definitely think you are on the right track. So thank you. It's an honor to meet you, sir. We will keep it doing, and we will, we will get it done. Absolutely. No doubt. I believe it. Thank you very much. Anybody? Mr. President, from my heart, thank you for your support of the military. And it's an honor to be here as one of seven Vietnam veterans representing the 58,000 heroes who never made it home. Thank you so much. You know, it it's so true. You know, it brings tears to your eyes because these people uh, also knew one another that didn't make it. It is heartbreaking. 
Correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen any World War II or Vietnam veteran ever hug Obama for anything he did for them. Obama had no issue stabbing our elderly veterans in the back, as we all remember the heartbreaking images of wheelchair-bound elderly veterans being turned away from visiting their World War II memorial after Obama decided to shut it down back in 2013 as part of his political ploy to make Republicans pay. Even the park police thought it was incredibly horrible what Obama did and refused to follow Obama's orders and not let the veterans uh, into the memorial. Here's a recap of the disgusting way Obama treated our World War II veterans via Stars and Stripes. Wheelchair-bound and elderly veterans pushed aside barricades to tour the World War II Memorial Tuesday morning in defiance of the government shutdown, which closed all of the memorials in the nation's capital. The four busloads of veterans visiting from Mississippi as part of a once-in-a-lifetime honor flight tour ignored National Park Police instructions not to enter the site as lawmakers and tourists cheered them on. We didn't come this far not to get in, one veteran pro proclaimed. The scene was both emotional and comical at once after it was clear they had lost uh, control of the situation. Park uh, police officials stood aside telling press that they had asked for guidance on how to respond to the breach of security. As 80-something veterans slowly walked around the massive war memorial, park police stood quietly to the side advising other tourists that the site was technically still closed, but they made no moves to stop the wishes of the war heroes. The memorial was closed because of the government shutdown that started 11 hours earlier after lawmakers failed to pass a temporary budget plan to keep nonsensical federal programs operating. Republicans and Democrats have been stalled in budget fight, uh, fight for weeks, mostly over legislative add-ons, dealings with the new health care law. It's wonderful to see our veterans finally being treated well by a commander-in-chief who doesn't exist for the sake of furthering the Islamic agenda. So, so poignant there. That's what he was uh, furthering. You know Obama's got to be pretty mad right now after seeing how much our veterans love President Trump. Uh, he's mad. He's also mad at America. He can't stand America. He only furthers Islam. That's, that's, his, that's what Obama was put in office for, to further their agenda. That's why the whole government is infiltrated with liberal idiots who uh, are going to take down our country. He had no respect for the veterans. He had them sleeping on the streets while he's giving four grand to each uh, refugee coming in per month that Americans don't even make. I mean, it's disgusting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.